I got a little demo here. I know it might be a little hard for you to see, but I got a little demo here on the Earth Sun system. Okay. First, we have the Earth, and the tilt is this way. So, this is the North Pole. Where my hand is, is the Northern Hemisphere. I know it's a little uh, reflective for you, but trust me. And this ball of light you see here is Mr. Sun. No, a 200 watt light bulb does not do Mr. Sun justice. And yes, I realize the light is scattered throughout the room because there's atmosphere throughout the room. If I could concentrate everything just around the earth and make the rest of the room a vacuum, well, A, I wouldn't be able to breathe, talk, my head would probably explode, et cetera, et cetera, but the light would not be scattered throughout the room, kind of like space. All right. So we have the Earth here and the North Pole here, and the United States is right here. Dodge City, Kansas is right here where my finger is, and we are facing directly to the sun. So that would make our clock time of day noon, okay, because this would be where the sun is the highest in the sky, uh, hence the term high noon. Okay. This would be our clock time of day, noon, uh, daylight savings time might make it one, something like that, but basically that's the idea. Now, if we could hover over the North Pole and watch, we would spin counterclockwise, okay? So this would be noon. As we spin counterclockwise, now we're here where my hand is, Dodge City, Kansas, and this would be 6 p.m. And if you look to the west, you would see the sun low in the sky instead of straight overhead. So that would be the sun setting in the west because from our perspective, it looks like we sit still, the sun comes up in the east and goes down in the west. But the reality is we spin while going around Mr. Sun. All right, so we got high noon, we got 6 p.m. Then we come over here, we don't see any sunlight, we see other stars. The other stars are out all the time, it's just that when we're facing Mr. Sun, we can't see them. So when we turn away from Mr. Sun, and this would be midnight, because we're completely opposite and we look out in the night sky, we would be able to see stars. And as we come around here, and no, you can't see the United States anymore, but you're going to have to trust me on this, you would look to the east and you would see the sun coming up in the east sky and it would be 6 a.m. So midnight, as we spin, 6 a.m., sun rises in the east, high noon, sun sets in the west, and shake, pour, drink, repeat. We do it over and over again about 365 times for one lap. Now, let's talk seasons. That's day and night. That's what the earth spin gives us. It's day and night. Okay, seasons. Again, the light scattered throughout the room. I can't really do much about that. I can't teach in a vacuum. You guys might like that. Uh, you wouldn't be able to hear my voice because sound can't travel in a vacuum. There'd just be all sorts of problems with teaching in a vacuum. United States. The tilt is this way where my hand is, okay? Now, if light wasn't scattered throughout the room, most of the light is on this side of the globe and the North Pole is dark. Okay, so the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, and we would associate that with less light, shorter days, okay, and if you're at the North Pole, there would be no daylight. It would be completely dark at the North Pole, and we would call that season winter. And this particular setup, it would actually be what's called the winter solstice. Okay. So this is, the sun would be directly overhead at 23 and a half degrees south. That'd be as far from the North Pole, far south from the North Pole, as the sun will be directly overhead. And we call that the winter solstice. Now, what holiday do we associate with winter? Christmas, right? 
The winter solstice is on December 21st-ish. Sometimes it's the 20th, sometimes it's 22nd. It's a moment in time because nobody stops moving. Okay? But we associate winter with Christmas. I want you to think about this. If you ever watched Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer as a child, think about that for a little bit. There's the workshop and the reindeer and they're all out playing in the snow and the sun shining. And the sun shining. There's no sunshine at the North Pole on the winter solstice or during Christmas. Rudolph was a complete lie. They lied to you. It's dark at the North Pole in the winter time. Rudolph's nose had to light up because it's dark out at the North Pole in the winter time. All right. Everything you see on TV is not real. That's a hard lesson to learn, but you need to learn it sometime. All right, winter solstice. We spin counterclockwise. We also go around Mr. Sun counterclockwise. So I'm gonna move us around here. Now, we go around Mr. Sun with our tilt still this way. We don't like wobble through space here. Our tilt stays the same. So we kind of go around Mr. Sun like this. All right, so we go here. Now, in this position, the earth isn't tilted. No pole is tilted towards Mr. Sun. Nobody's tilted away from Mr. Sun. In fact, half the earth is lit up. Half the earth is lit up at all times, but half the earth is lit up. Nobody's tilted towards or away. So we actually get at this position, everybody on the planet gets 12 hour days, 12 hour nights. Now, if this is winter, as we come over here, this is spring. It was called the spring equinox, and it's somewhere around March 20th, 21st-ish, 19th, is the 22nd, it's somewhere in that area, okay? Then we move on to here, and now the North Pole is tilted towards Mr. Sun, the United States is tilted towards Mr. Sun, our days are longer, which means we get more solar radiation, and this would be the summer solstice. The sun would be directly overhead at 23 and a half degrees north latitude. That is as far north as the sun is ever directly overhead. And we come around here, and just like spring, it's a little harder for you to see, but now I'm blocking out the sun, so it might be easier for you to see. And everybody, once again, is back to 12-hour days, 12-hour nights, and we call that the fall or autumnal equinox. All right, I'm gonna take it around one more time, but we're gonna look at hours of daylight for the Northern Hemisphere. Least amount of daylight in this position. If you're at the North Pole, no daylight. If you're at 66 and a half degrees latitude or north, no daylight, all right? As we go around, days get longer, 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 12 hour days. Longer, 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 maximum length of days. All daylight at the North Pole. And then we start shorter, 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 shorter. Fall equinox, this is where we're heading right now and then back to Christmas. <laughs>